and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Festa 67's Workshop. Welcome to issue 28 of Build the Legendary Cyborg Robocop from the wonderful folk down at Fanheim. Now, if you'd like to build along with me this beautiful, beautiful one-third scale replica, head over to this link. It's also in the description below, I think. Head over to the Fanhome website and take out a subscription and you could be ending up building your Robocop along with me. So pop over and do it, you know, you want to, folks. So let's have a quick hander through the magazine, see what we've got this month. Erwin Kirshner takes the reins. The director steers the production out of chaos. This was the arrival of a new uh, director for Robocop 2, just to give it a bit of a kick just to get the story finished and the film out there. And uh, yeah, so he had to re-energise it because it was getting a bit stale. Some more details here on stuff that's going behind. The director who liked sequels. Give these a read, peeps. You know you want to. This is some more um, details on the left fire there. We've got the dressing panels going in and all of that gubbins. So we've got fair old bit going on there today folks so yeah you're gonna need your leg again from the last issue you know the one that we was doing the robo walk with um, this shows you where on your robo cop this assembly is gonna go and it really does start taking shape when you see all these little dressing panels that go together so yeah they thought of everything on this and then it says the left leg assembly is now complete. Check you can flex the knee with some controlled pressure. When doing so, be careful not to flex the ankle too much because the toe cap may pop off. Yeah, don't want it. Don't want that to happen. But it does ping back into place anyway. Okay. And it shows you where on your model this leg fits. It's the left leg. So it's going to go on the left, isn't it? Modular robots. Imagine a wheeled robot moving at high speed over relatively flat terrain. At a certain point, the terrain becomes uneven. The robot unfolds articulated legs that allow it up to negotiate the unevenness. Yes, walking robots. Uh, cubelets are programmable and connectable robotic blocks, mainly orientated to the educational sector. As you assemble them together, they communicate and then it just opens up little levels of a game, I do believe. The extinction of animals. This is an interesting one because we're of the generation that Jurassic Park came out. But they're on about sequencing DNA and trying to bring back animals. And I do believe that they really want to do a mammoth. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm looking looking interesting that I must admit I do keep an eye out for that. So yeah, very pioneering initiative as it says there. So definitely give these a read, folks, because it just lets you see some of the things that are going on. That's the magazine. So we'll scoop back and grab our leg from the last issue and our pack of goodies for today, which is pack number twenty-eight. So we'll get them open. When we come back, we'll have all the bits on the bench and we'll get ready to do some assembly. Fun. All right, there's Robo Leg from the previous issue. And what it is telling us to grab is to grab this section here. Okay. And we're going to lay that right down the th front of this thigh section. So you've got pins that lo locate this in place. So just start. Gently pressing it in place. Just want to make sure that it's going in where it should. And it will click into place, just like so. Okay. Which is what you want. Okay. And it will be going in with a couple of BP screws as well. Okay. So you've got BMs and BPs. Okay. So BM goes on this side. BPs go on that side. Okay. So let's get the M's in place and that will pull all of that together then remember grab you a little bit of oil and then 
rest in the leg I can use my thumb as a guide just to start locating these screws in place and that will pull that panel right in then nice and tight to that thigh don't go too mad don't over tighten it because you'll break it and we don't want that because yeah, there'll be big wibbles so I'll just move me mat slightly and that's that going in place now just like so that's just pulling that right nice and tight Bosh, like that. and now turn the leg over and grab the smaller ones which are the bps okay and there's a slightly longer thread on these I'll just sit them in situ. Same process. Pop it in place. The screw will pop in quite happily. And then that will start biting in to the other side. Okay. And these BP ones, obviously, they're biting into plastic. So just don't over tighten them ones. So that's what you'll have there. So already you're now beginning to dress the front of that thigh on that leg. See? Next up, we want 28C, which is this long strip that goes down the thigh there. Okay. So we want to put that down in here. Okay. So it goes up that way. It's got a step in it. That's because it's coming out of here and then up onto there. So the angled edge there is what goes against there. Okay. So just try and pop that in place like I so. In all the pegs. And then just press it in place. Like that. Okay. So that's on that section. We then want to bring in the OCP uh, police zero one and then press that in place over it. Okay. Just like that. When I'm going to lay it down, I'll just give it a squeeze and that's click that straight into place, just like that. And that's what you've got. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Like so. We then need to grab this disc and get that in place. Okay. Now you've got a large peg and a small peg. Okay. So it'll only go one way. Okay. So your large hole is at the bottom. So large peg at the bottom. Press that right in so it's recessed in. And straight away that closes all of that off. Okay. You've then got this one. Got a built-in woodruff key that goes in there. That covers that screw hole, just like so. So just try to line that up best you can. Pop that in place. And then you've got a little piece that we had left over from a previous issue. So which is this little piece, if you remember, the little cincy wincy leg detail. And that was from issue number 24. And I kept it in a little poly bag because I knew at some point we'd be needing it. And it's now asking us for it. So hold your leg that way round and you want it with, well, it can only go one way. You've got the large peg and the round, and the small peg there. So we'll try not to drop it. And it goes in that way round, folks, okay? Like that. Just press that in place now. And that is the second detail of the leg done. Look at all of that. Isn't that beautiful? Don't she look stunning? Hey, absolutely gorgeous. And that is a hell of a lot of weight there, folks. I am so impressed with that. 
absolutely beautiful. Come on, you know you want one. Yeah, so there you go, folks. That is the completed left leg done. And that all moves nicely. Nice bit of resistance, which is what I want. You can hear it locking into place. It holds itself in situ. So just test your leg to make sure it works. Okay, and then this will store in the box now until I need it uh, later on in the build. So there you go, folks. If you would like to join me and build along with me on this beautiful, beautiful part work, click this link just here. It's also in the description below. Head over to the Fan Home website and take out a subscription to this beautiful product. Also, to help me out and help me grow my channel, just click that subscribe button just down there and ring the bell. That will let you know of any future content that's coming. And it really does help me out, and I really, really do appreciate it, folks. I appreciate every single person that takes the time and effort to hit that subscribe button for me. So I'll thank you in advance. Stay safe and well until the next issue. Bye-bye for now.